Before I get started, I always like to create a system restore point, so I open up start, type in restore, look for create a system restore point. Once the window like this opens, I first configure and turn on the system restore and allocate some space, then I hit OK, and then I click create, I name my restore point. After that, the system restore point has been created and then every time I want to undo the changes, I click system restore button, go through the process, select my restore point and wait for the computer to do its job. Download links. I actually have a website ytpriest.weebly.com, you can open up a blog section and look through the blog section. After you acquire all the files, open up the folder and you first want to double click on this file which will extract another file which is this one. If you need a password again look at my website. So after you extract this file you want to double click this one, the new one that was created with the black icon, click yes. After that you want to click next, you want to accept the terms, click next. Here you have all the components selected, I suggest you leave all of these on, click next. And now all you have to do is wait for the installer to finish doing its job and you can actually read right here what it's doing. So as you can see it's patching, then it's installing icons, so forth and so forth. So it gives us the notification, please select Mac OS Team from Personalize, after restart we will do that. So as you can see as it keeps moving on it's readjusting everything by itself, you don't have to touch anything. After the installation finishes, something like this will open, just close it and you can click next and finish and also do select reboot now. And remember, we're gonna go back to personalize and select Mac OS. After your computer reboots, as you can see it opens up the customize automatically, I can select Mac OS, it seems like it's already selected. After that we can just close these settings and our theme is basically installed. But we can do a couple of changes if we want to. So for example we have the dock at the bottom. If you do not like the way it moves like this, you can actually change that. Simple right click and then go dock settings. We can actually go to icons and we can change a couple of things. So we have hover effect which is this basically. We can change that. We have zoom, bubble, pl plateau, whatever, flat. So you can choose something like that and here's how that looks like. I'm actually going to keep it bubble but I will change the zoom size to a little bit lower. So this is how it looks like. Also you can change the zoom width and here's how that looks like. And I'm actually going to leave it at 3. We also have zoom duration so as you can see zooms in slower or faster. One thing you can also do is go to position and here you have edge offset. If you want to have your dock a little closer to your screen or further away you can do that as well. One more thing you can do is also hide the desktop icons if that's something you're looking to do. And that's pretty much it for this very short video. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. I have a couple of more videos that will show you how to make your Windows 10 look like Mac OS coming in very soon. So if you want to see that when it comes out, subscribe to my channel. And that's gonna be it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you in next video. Priest signing out. Yo, yo, microphone check, make it a microphone check. Give it a microphone, I make the make it a microphone dead. Don't step to me, newbie. I could truly be moody. I could have played the fucking Grinch in the movies. I've been a part time shadow cat, part time. That is not a guy that I would ever want to try to battle rap. Snap, crack a pop, mind fried to a crisp, make an MC into a wide eyed.